yes welcome to an Femitech video tutorial now for this episode I'll be showing you how to reinstall the factory OSR firmware on your Samsung Galaxy Geo GTS 5660M cell phone now I'm gonna show you how to bring the phone into recovery mode so first thing you have to hold on on the home button which is this middle button there then the volume down and of course the power button at the side there so hold on on those three button now once you see this pink screen comes up you just need to read the instruction which of course they are warning you that um, the OS are you installing OS on this phone can actually cause some problem now down the bottom there volume up to continue and of course volume down to cancel so from here you would want to choose volume up to actually continue so the volume up button is on the side here yes so now we are over on the computer now before I start the process of course you have to have the files and we're going to be needed a combination of files now the first file that you're going to need is the Odin download multiplier which of course I've provided a link to, for you to get this file you're also going to need the GIO OPS file your Samsung USB driver which of course will allow you to connect or make your computer communicate with the Samsung phone and last but not least of course is your firmware to actually install on the Samsung phone so once you have those four files or software the next thing is to open the Odin multiplayer downloader first so I'm gonna get mine up now once it is up the first thing is to look for is that you're seeing com and it can be com1 com8 but you just want to ensure that it is in yellow now once it is in yellow it is a indication that the phone is communicating with your computer so once you have that up and running the first thing is to click this one pack there and then you need to ensure that one pack down there is also click so after clicking this one pack the first file that i are going to update is the OPS you click on OPS which will bring you to where you have that file on your computer double click on it so it is now uploaded to the Odin downloader and after doing that you need to go down to the to one part down the bottom here of course once you click on it, it should take you to where you have the firmware for your phone so this is my firmware let's click on it one time next I click open now as you can see it is now uploaded to the Odin software once you have uploaded these two files the next thing is to click the start button so the process now started as you can see now this process can take anywhere between 5 and 10 minutes sometime it will take less now on the phone all you're seeing is just download for now so far we have gone 27 28 seconds so you have to wait until this is complete as you can see their system so presently it is installing the software now 
the phone is rebooting now as you can see the phone is going to the reboot or the recovery screen now while this is going on you have to be careful not to disconnect your phone not to plug out the USB cable so as you can see the Samsung Galaxy up Samsung logo just load up a while ago so as you can see now your screen is up but of course the process is still not complete as when it switch I'm gonna switch over to the computer screen as you can see it is still going on 2 minutes and 50 seconds of our reset is where it is at now so even though you're seeing on the screen as in the phone coming up the process is still not complete you just have to be patient three minutes gone already and I said it can take anywhere between five minutes and ten minutes yes so we're getting towards the end so as you can see the word pass now once you're seeing the word pass that simply means the process is actually complete so i just want to check the phone press the home button as you can see phone is now live so the phone is now up and running so i'm just going to slide across right so once the phone is up and running then you can do your own configuration so once again this video show you how to reinstall your factory firmware on your Samsung Galaxy Geo GT S5660M cell phone please remember to click the subscription button if you like this video and of course also if this video of help you so once again femitech is out of here thanks for viewing